Imagine a world brimming with awe-inspiring landscapes, breathtaking vistas, and the mesmerizing beauty of nature. This isn't the stuff of dreams or flights of fancy, but the very world we live in. Each corner of the globe holds its own unique allure, a testament to the diverse beauty that our planet has to offer. From the sun-kissed shores of Greece to the misty mountains of China, from the tranquil waters of Slovenia to the rolling hills of Italy, there is beauty to be found in every nook and cranny. Every place tells a story, a tale of centuries, of cultures, and of the relentless march of time. And each story is as diverse as the landscapes themselves. Majestic castles, serene beaches, towering mountains, and quaint villages, all waiting to be explored and admired. So strap in, keep your eyes wide, and your hearts open. Join us as we embark on a journey to discover the 10 most beautiful places in the world. At number 10, we have the sun-kissed island of Zakynthos in Greece. A gem in the Ionian Sea, Zakynthos is a haven for those seeking a blend of natural beauty, history, and culture. Imagine dipping your toes into the crystal-clear waters of the Ionian Sea, or lounging on one of the many stunning beaches, your senses filled with the scent of the Mediterranean. The island's coastline is a tapestry of sandy stretches and secluded coves, each one a paradise in its own right. But Zakynthos is not just about the beaches. Venture into the turquoise waters and you'll discover a unique marine life that includes the endangered loggerhead turtles, a sight that will leave nature lovers spellbound. Away from the shoreline, the island reveals its other charms. Olive groves and vineyards dot the landscape, a testament to the island's rich agricultural heritage. Meanwhile, traditional stone houses and Byzantine museums bear witness to a history that stretches back thousands of years. Then there's the island's vibrant culture, a blend of Greek tradition and Venetian influence. Whether it's in the form of local festivals, traditional music, or mouth-watering cuisine, the spirit of Zakynthos is ever-present. So, whether you're a beach bum, a history buff, or a culture vulture, Zakynthos caters to all. It's an island where natural beauty, rich history, and vibrant culture converge, offering an experience that's as diverse as it is unforgettable. Zakynthos is a Greek island paradise that truly has it all. Next on our list at number 9 is the serene and majestic Li River in China. Cradled amidst the heart of Guangxi province, the Li River is a ribbon of tranquility, meandering through a dreamscape of distinctive karst mountains. These towering limestone pinnacles, which rise dramatically from the earth, are the result of millions of years of erosion. They've been shaped by time and the elements into a myriad of surreal forms, creating an otherworldly panorama that stirs the soul. The Li River isn't just about natural beauty, it's a river of life, coursing through vibrant rice paddies and past charming fishing villages. It's a river of culture, its banks adorned with ancient temples and its waters plied by traditional bamboo rafts. And it's a river of inspiration, its ethereal landscapes immortalized in countless Chinese paintings and poems. But perhaps what sets the Li River apart is its cultural significance. It's been a lifeline for local communities for centuries, providing sustenance, transportation, and a sense of identity. It's also been a beacon for travelers, drawing adventurers and artists from around the globe. Whether you're journeying by boat to soak in the breathtaking vistas or hiking the surrounding trails to explore the lush landscapes, the Li River offers a timeless encounter with the essence of China. The Li River is a testament to the harmonious coexistence of nature and mankind. Its enduring allure lies not just in its physical beauty, but in the rich tapestry of human stories that it continues to weave, day after day, year after year. At number 8 we find ourselves in the picturesque surroundings of Lake Bled in Slovenia. This gem of the Julian Alps captivates with its emerald green waters that mirror the sky, creating a serene and mesmerizing spectacle. The lake is a tranquil oasis, where the only sounds are the gentle lapping of water against the shore and the distant call of birds. Overlooking the lake, perched high on a rocky cliff, stands a medieval castle. This historic fortress, with its towering turrets and red-tiled roofs, whispers tales of knights and nobles from centuries past. It's as if time itself has stopped, allowing us to step back and marvel at this relic of bygone eras. In the heart of the lake, a charming island beckons. It is home to a quaint church, its spire reaching up as though trying to touch the clouds. Legend has it that ringing the church bell will make your wishes come true. Whether that's true or not, the island is undeniably a place of hope and tranquility. The entire scene is one of peacefulness and calm, a place where you can escape the rush of daily life and immerse yourself in nature's beauty. 
It is a place where the air is fresh, the views are spectacular, and the atmosphere is soothing. Lake Bled is a fairy tale come to life. At number seven, we have the rolling hills and vineyards of Tuscany, Italy. Picture this, endless stretches of emerald green hills dotted with cypress trees cascading into lush vineyards. This is Tuscany, the heart of Italy, a paradise that captures the essence of La Bella Vita, or the good life. Tuscany's landscapes are iconic, almost like a Renaissance painting come to life. You'll find yourself lost in the beauty of the rolling hills that seem to stretch into infinity. But the picturesque outdoors is just the beginning. Tuscany is also home to some of the world's most renowned vineyards. Here, the art of winemaking is revered, resulting in some of the finest wines the world has to offer. The region also boasts a rich tapestry of historic towns, each one is a treasure trove of architectural wonders, from medieval towers to Renaissance palaces. And let's not forget about the artistic heritage. Tuscany is the birthplace of the Italian Renaissance, home to masterpieces by Michelangelo, Botticelli, and Da Vinci. And then there's the food. Deliciously simple and yet wildly complex, Tuscan cuisine is a gastronomic delight. From the hearty ribolita soup to the succulent bistecca alla Fiorentina, every dish is a celebration of local ingredients and traditional cooking methods. Tuscany's unique ambiance is a blend of all these elements. The landscapes, the vineyards, the towns, the art, and the food. It's a place where you can feel the rhythm of life slowing down, inviting you to savor every moment. Tuscany is a symphony of nature, culture, and gastronomy. At number six, we have the fairy tale like Neuschwanstein Castle in Germany. Imagine a castle straight out of a storybook, perched atop a rugged hill, bathed in the soft glow of the setting sun. That's Neuschwanstein Castle for you. Built in the late 19th century, the castle's stunning architecture is a testament to the romanticism of the era, with its tall, pointed towers reaching for the heavens and intricate, ornate details that captivate the eye. The castle is nestled in the heart of Bavaria, surrounded by the verdant beauty of the German countryside. Its location atop a hill isn't just for the aesthetics, though it does contribute to the castle's magical atmosphere. It offers breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape, a panorama of rolling hills, lush forests and clear blue lakes that stretch as far as the eye can see. But there's more to Neuschwanstein Castle than its physical beauty. The castle has a rich history, steeped in tales of kings and queens, of dreams realized and dreams shattered. It was the brainchild of Ludwig II of Bavaria, a king known for his love of the arts. Ludwig envisioned the castle as a retreat, a place where he could escape from the world and indulge in his passion for music and art. Today, Neuschwanstein Castle stands as a testament to Ludwig's dream, a dream etched in stone. The castle continues to captivate visitors with its enchanting beauty and the allure of its history. Neuschwanstein Castle is a dream etched in stone. At number 5 we have the colorful seaside villages of Cinque Terre in Italy. Nestled along the rugged Italian Riviera coastline, Cinque Terre, or Five Lands, is a constellation of five enchanting villages, each with its own unique charm. Let's start with Monteroso al Mare, known for its lovely beaches and the monumental statue of Neptune. Vernazza, arguably the most picturesque of the five, is a vibrant fishing village adorned with a colorful array of houses. Cornelia, perched high on a cliff, offers breathtaking views of the Ligurian Sea. Manarola, famous for its sweet Siaketra wine, is a paradise for photographers, while Rio Maggiore is a haven for romantics with its narrow alleyways and steep stairways. But the charm of Cinque Terre isn't limited to its villages. The region is renowned for its dramatic coastline, a juxtaposition of rugged cliffs and serene beaches, which form a stunning backdrop to the vibrant houses. The terraced vineyards too add to the region's allure, their green rows cascading down to the Azure Sea, a testament to the region's rich winemaking tradition. Living in Cinque Terre is about embracing simplicity and savoring every moment. It's about waking up to the sound of waves, spending afternoons fishing or tending to the vineyards, and ending the day with a glass of local wine and a plate of fresh seafood. Cinque Terre is a vibrant palette of nature's finest colors. This beautiful corner of Italy is a celebration of life, a place where nature and culture coexist in perfect harmony. At number four, we have the pristine white sands and turquoise waters of Whitsunday in Australia. The Whitsundays, a collection of 74 islands off the coast of Queensland, are a spectacle to behold. Imagine miles of untouched beaches, the finest sand beneath your feet, and waters so clear they mirror the sky. The islands are home to some of the most stunning beaches in the world, including the world-renowned Whitehaven Beach. 
Its silica sand is so pure it squeaks underfoot and the swirling tide creates mesmerizing patterns on the shore. But the beauty of Whitsunday isn't confined to its beaches. Beneath the surface of these serene waters lies the heart of the Great Barrier Reef, a kaleidoscope of coral gardens teeming with diverse marine life. Here you can witness turtles gliding effortlessly, colorful schools of fish darting about and maybe even spot the elusive dugong grazing on seagrass. The tranquility of these islands is something to marvel at. Away from the hustle and bustle of city life, Whitsunday offers a chance to reconnect with nature. Whether you're sailing through the calm waters, hiking through the lush rainforest, or simply lying on the beach, the serenity is palpable. But it's not just the beauty and tranquility that make Whitsunday special. It's the feeling of being in a place that is truly timeless, where the natural world reigns supreme. Whitsunday is a slice of paradise on Earth. At number three, we have the majestic and awe-inspiring Himalayas in Nepal. Nestled between the plains of India and the Tibetan Plateau, the Himalayas in Nepal stand as a beacon of natural grandeur. They are not just mountains, they are the epitome of nature's artistry. The towering peaks, dressed in snow and often veiled by the clouds, reach out to the sky as if trying to touch the infinite. These mountains are not just about their height or their snow-capped beauty. They are home to serene monasteries that serve as spiritual sanctuaries, each one a testament to the region's unique culture and faith. The silence here is filled with the chants of monks that resonate with a peace that is hard to find elsewhere. The Himalayas also offer some of the most picturesque trekking trails in the world. Each trail is a journey in itself, winding through lush green valleys and rushing rivers under the shadow of the great peaks. These trails are not just paths but are stories that lead you to an exploration of self and nature. The spiritual significance of the Himalayas is as profound as its natural beauty. They are believed to be the abode of gods, a place of divine energy. They inspire a sense of awe and reverence reminding us of the immense power and beauty of the natural world. The Himalayas are a testament to the grandeur of nature. At number two, we have the dramatic landscapes and enchanting beauty of the Lofoten Islands in Norway. Nestled in the heart of the Arctic Circle, the Lofoten Islands are a grand symphony of nature's finest elements. Imagine rugged mountains that pierce the sky, their peaks blanketed in snow standing tall and proud against the azure backdrop. These rocky giants are the sentinels of the islands, their imposing presence a testament to the relentless strength of nature. But it's not just the mountains that make Lofoten a paradise. The islands are also home to breathtaking fjords, the result of thousands of years of glacial sculpting. These fjords, with their crystal clear waters, are a sight to behold. They cradle the islands in their arms, their tranquil surfaces mirroring the ethereal beauty of the landscapes they surround. Lofoten is also a haven for charming fishing villages, their colorful houses sprinkled along the shores adding a dash of vibrancy to the otherwise stark landscapes. These villages with their rich cultural heritage are the heartbeat of the islands. They are a reminder of the centuries-old traditions that continue to thrive in this remote corner of the world. And then, there are the Northern Lights. The Aurora Borealis, with its mesmerizing dance of colors in the sky, adds a touch of magic to the Lofoten Islands. It's a sight that leaves one spellbound, a celestial spectacle that truly captures the essence of this Arctic paradise. The Lofoten Islands are a breathtaking spectacle of nature's wonders. And finally, at number one, we have the stunning and unique Zlatni Rat in Croatia. Zlatni Rat, also known as the Golden Horn, is a breathtaking spectacle of nature's artistry. Its shape is like no other, a slender pointed beach that stretches out into the turquoise waters of the Adriatic Sea, shifting with the tides, winds, and currents. It's as if the sea itself sculpted this masterpiece. Just behind the beach, a lush pine grove provides a cool retreat from the sun-soaked coastline. The scent of pine needles mingles with the salty sea breeze, creating a refreshing atmosphere that's as invigorating as it is soothing. Now let's dive into those crystal clear waters. The sea around Zlatni Rat is a vibrant playground for water enthusiasts. Whether you're a fan of windsurfing, diving, or simply swimming, this beach is a haven for leisure and adventure. But Zlatni Rat is not just about the beach. The panoramic views from the Vidovagora mountain are truly awe-inspiring. From the top, one can see the beach in its full glory, flanked by the charming town of Bol and the serene islands that dot the Adriatic Sea. It's a view that seems to encapsulate the beauty of Croatia in one stunning tableau. 
Zlatni Rot is a testament to the captivating beauty that our world holds. As we explore its natural charm, it's clear why this Croatian wonder is considered one of the most beautiful places on Earth. And there you have it, the 10 most beautiful places in the world. From the azure waters of Zakynthos in Greece to the majestic peaks of the Himalayas in Nepal, we've traversed the globe and witnessed the diverse beauty it has to offer. We've journeyed down the serene Li River in China, admired the fairy tale like Neuschwanstein Castle in Germany, and basked in the warm sun of Whitsunday in Australia. We've strolled through the picturesque landscapes of Tuscany and Cinque Terre in Italy, and marveled at the rugged beauty of the Lofoten Islands in Norway. We've ended our journey at the unique Zlatni Rat in Croatia, a testament to the world's ever-changing beauty. Each place, unique in its own right, contributes to the world's magnificent tapestry of landscapes. Remember, the beauty of the world lies not only in these places but also in the eyes of the beholder. Until next time, keep exploring.